Hello learners, this is Kumar, Assistant Professor, School of Commerce, KSR College of Arts and Science for Women. Now we take a session for learners who want to know about tax liability. In this session, we are going to learn about tax liability and its elements of tax liability. What is tax liability? As a C is you know? Yes, as C means a person who has to pay the tax. When as a C is paying any kind of tax, we can say tax liability. I got income so and so and I am an assessee, I have to pay the tax. Then whatever tax I am paying, that tax is tax liability. Tax paying to whom? Income tax department. That's it. So now what are the elements are there? Different elements means uh, main conditions, main rules and the regulations while paying the tax. You must know all. Yes. So those things we called as a elements of tax. So regarding this session, we will see very important topic. Now let's enter into the topic tax liability. So it's amount paid by an assessee earned taxable income of previous year to income tax department. When do we pay the tax? Only previous year income, not present year, right? Whatever I have earned on that, I have to pay. That is why we say it is a previous year. So tax amount is to be paid by an SSC on taxable income of previous year to income tax department. That is we called it as a tax liability. What are the elements are that? Totally three elements are that. One is income tax for individuals. Then surcharge. Last one is education says. Okay. Now first we will see what is income tax for individuals. Income tax. Income tax is at every individual has to pay as for the direct tax. Now here our government has decided three kind of categories. So one is below senior citizen, uh, that is non-senior citizen. Okay. Then non-senior citizen means uh, who ages below 60 years. So he is called uh, non-senior citizens. Uh, second category is the senior citizen above 60 but below 80. And the super senior citizen means above 80. You must remember this non-senior citizen, senior citizen and super senior citizen for three of them have some kind of concession or three of them are having a kind of amount is to be without charge. Government is not being to charge any amount for this. You have to remember this table, uh, three category, non-senior, senior and super senior citizens. Okay. If he is a resident of same country, I mean our country in India, then this is the concession given on the income earned by SSE. So for example, non-senior below 60 year mean if you are a resident then up to 2,50,000 there is no tax at all. In the same way if he is resident and a senior citizen above 60 below 80 mean then he will he will be uh, given a concession of 3 lakh rupees. Government is not going to change anything. They have full concession if it is super senior means 5 lakhs, government is not going to charge anything up to this, right? Okay. Please remember when we called the income tax for individuals. Under non-senior citizen, level of total income, uh, where the total income does not exceed 2,50,000, the rate of tax is nil. For that, where the total income exceed 2,50,000, but does not exceed 5 lakh, the rate of tax is 5% of the amount by which of the total income exceed 2,50,000. Then next one, where the total income exceed 5 lakh but does not exceed 10 lakh, the rate of tax is 12,500 plus 20% of amount by which the total income exceed 5 lakh. Then where the total income exceed 10 lakh, 1 lakh 12,500 plus third percentage of the amount by which the total income exceed 10 lakh. This rate of tax is under non-senior citizen. Uh, next we see uh, senior citizen. Okay, under senior citizen, the level of total income, where the total income does not exceed 3 lakh, the rate of tax is nil. Uh, where the total income exceed 3 lakh, but does not exceed 5 lakh, uh, in category, the rate of tax, 5 percentage of amount, by which the total income exceed 3 lakh. Where the total income exceed 5 lakh but does not exceed 10 lakh, 10,000 plus 20% of the amount 
by which the total income exceed 5 lakh is rate of tax then where the total income exceed 10 lakh the rate of tax is 1 lakh 10000 plus 30 percentage of the tax by which the total income exceed 10 lakh this is the uh, rate of tax under the senior citizen then finally see the under the super senior citizen level of total income where the total income does not exceed 5 lakh the rate is nil where the total income exceed 5 lakh but does not exceed 10 lakh the rate of tax is 20 percentage of amount by which the total income exceed 5 lakh where the total income exceed 10 lakh under super senior citizen and the rate of tax is 1 lakh plus 30 percentage of the amount by which the total income exceed 10 lakh i hope you understand like uh, non senior citizen senior citizen and a super senior citizen okay the second thing is surcharge what is this surcharge it means that is nothing but additional tax on tax the surcharge can be charged and only the central government is having the rights to change this surcharge no one can charge this surcharge only central government is having the rights but central government is going to increase the surcharge whenever there is any huge requirement of funds for the country there is a huge requirement like a natural calamities or something happen so country needs a lot of amount they are going to increase or decrease the surcharge that is a additional tax on tax so surcharge will be how much it always remember 50 lakh to 1 crore if your income is there so it is going to attract a surcharge of 10 percentage between these two if it is above 1 crore then 15 percentage at present and as i told you know as per the requirement government may increase or decrease it is in the central government hands only so this is about the surcharge the next one is education says assess mean tax on tax suppose we our tax is supposed to 2 lakh in have to pay tax on that says means on 2 lakh once again tax that is we say it is as education says it is compulsory whoever is earning whatever income so once if we calculate the tax on that education says will be there education tax will be there so what is that that is four percent is calculated on income tax and the total income tax whatever is we received and that four percentage we are going to charge these are all the elements of tax liability uh, you must know uh, before calculating or before uh, computing the tax liability thank you thank you for watching